In this video I'm painting a hummingbird in watercolour and as you can see from the finished painting this is going to be a ruby throated hummingbird with this emerald green back and then this orange red throat and these are amazingly beautiful birds. And yet, as you can see, as always, I'm starting with my pencil sketch and I've sped this up considerably to show you just the, the basic faces that I'm going through. So I'm starting with a very light colored pencil drawing and I do this so I can get a feel for the proportion and for the different, uh, where are the different shapes going for this bird. And after I'm done with this stage, I'm taking my mechanical pencil and sort of locking in the details uh, around the face and around the rest of the body. So I'm drawing in more details like where are the different patches of feathers and how does the beak really look and where does the tail end and things like this. So this is my sketching stage complete and I'm getting up my watercolors. I'm using my large watercolor palette in this one and I'm adding a transparent orange to the palette because I think this will really match the tone of the throat for this bird. I'm actually starting with a light blue-green back, so this emerald part of this bird. And I'm starting by adding Taylor blue and then this olive green or I think this green gold actually, a color by Winsor and Newton. If you want to know more about what colors are in my palette, then check out the link below. I have listed all of the colors in my big palette in this post. So I'm just dropping in the colors very lightly in very thin washes and you can see I'm um, also dropping in a bit of green onto the head and I'm using different greens. So I have this light green gold but then also a darker green which is mixed with sap green and here I'm adding a little bit of raw umber to the mix for the brown head section and the ear patch just below the eyes. You can see I'm using very little color at this stage just to get these color blobs uh, in position. Now for the base of the beak and the area below the beak I'm using neutral gray and then I'm adding in the dark of the eye with the same color. This is a very detailed painting with a lot of layers. So again, I've sped things up considerably here. And if you want to take a closer look at the single brush strokes that I do and at the small areas of color that I'm painting, then absolutely feel free to slow down the speed of this video and take a closer look at what I'm doing here. So I'm adding a bit of light gray at the top of the beak and then I'm adding the same raw umber and with a little bit of gray mixed in color to the tail. It's the almost the same color as I used for the head regions there. Now I'll take out my transparent orange and as you can see this is a really nice and transparent color really intense, so I'm dropping it in in the throat region. And I'm using a lighter color, so this is buff titanium for the belly region. And I'm just spreading the paint so that there will be a light layer. And bit by bit I'm also adding a few tiny brush strokes around the breast. I'm also dropping in more green around the back region and so uh, on the far left uh, you can see where the light is hitting the back of the bird. I'm using this almost bluish tint and then I'm adding darker regions with um, this emerald green. So this is actually viridian. You can see I'm not trying to get every feather detail right here. I just want to make sure you, that the viewer can see that these are the wing feathers or the tail feathers and or the ear patch and that's enough for me at this stage. 
with a slightly darker mix of transparent orange and a little bit of a brown tone, I'm adding these sort of stacked feathers at the throat, so this sort of feather pattern there. And I'm painting in the small dark feet of the bird with neutral grey. So from time to time I'm lifting out a little bit of color in the areas that I want to refine a bit more. And this is another thing that's possible with cotton paper. Another special color that I got out for this one is cobalt turquoise and I'm just dropping in a tiny amount in the back region where the light hits the bird. I'm refining the throat area another time and you can see as I paint on several layers of this transparent orange it darkens and intensifies. So I've set up this palette with almost completely transparent colors and this is something that I enjoy particularly for these detailed and layered paintings. Another round of intensifying the dark areas of the bill. And with transparent ochre I'm adding more of these textures and these overlapping feather details around the belly and the breast region. You can see I'm also dropping in a little bit of green because the green part spreads around uh, into the belly. And I'm giving the bag a, a more intense color with another layer of dark green, so another layer of viridian. Painted on in these uh, little strokes to show where these overlapping feather structures are. I'm also adding a bit of green around the head to bring out these green iridescent parts of the bird. I'm also detailing a bit more around the wings to show the single feathers a bit better and I'm giving the little feet a second layer so that they look a bit more three-dimensional. And you know at this stage it's uh, I go from place to place and look where I can fix areas and bring them out a little bit better but basically the bird is, is done at this point. But you know a little bit of detail can go a long way. I'm also getting out my colored pencils for a little bit of uh, more detail, more punctual details and I'm using it around the eye, the face region and what I really like to do is punch in some highlights around the eye and here I'm adding a little bit of structure to the, uh, the branch that he's sitting on. As you can see I'm cycling through uh, different light colors here and uh, sometimes these colored pencils work on a painted surface uh, better and sometimes they work uh, not so good so this is just me trying out uh, with which colored pencil I can get the best effect here. So I'm particularly liking this light yellow one. And as you can see I almost ruined the painting with a dark brush stroke but uh, I lifted it out before it dried. And I'm using this light blue colored pencil for a few more uh, iridescent details on the back. And basically this is it. Oh no, uh, last details with the black colored pencil. So this is really well pointed tip and yeah, that's the finished painting. If you've enjoyed this video, then check out my video class, How to Draw Birds. In this video series I show you everything you need to get started when drawing birds in your sketchbook. I go over the basics of bird anatomy, show drawing techniques and tips and give several demonstrations in pencil and watercolor from start to finish. The whole course has almost two hours of video. So come with me and learn how to draw birds.